Okay, so before I get into this, um, the April 2022 installment of this month in UK Fun Fest is going to be delayed until later this month, maybe because I need to finalise a few things and also need to double check there's nothing I have missed. Um, until then, welcome to a special edition of this month in UK Fun Fest. Right, hello and welcome to a special edition here of this Rugby UK Perfect. Now, just behind me right there is Hereford Mayfair, which has taken place for the first time in three years. So it's good to finally have this back in this particular house. Haven't been to Hereford, it's literally the only reason why I've ever been here. Um, but just going to dive right into this because my phone is very short on battery and I need to get this done as quickly as possible can. Um, so I'm not going to be covering absolutely everything here at Hereford Mayfair. There will be a walk around video tomorrow dedicated to that. Um, but let's just have a look and see what some of the new stuff that's here and some of the stuff that hasn't been here for a very long time. So here we go. Hereford Mayfair took place on the 1st to the 5th of May this year and has returned for the first time since 2019 after being cancelled the past two years uh, due to ongoing restrictions revolving around the COVID-19 pandemic. It was cancelled in 2020 uh, but was rescheduled to take place in August last year um, but ended up being cancelled altogether and well here we are. So as stated in the intro we're not going to be covering the whole of this fair we're only be going to be covering what's new or is returning for the first time in years. Also one thing we do want to point out before we get into this um, the information that we are providing is based off of looking at past reports and if there's any information that you are about to hear that's wrong, uh, please feel free to correct that in the comments. Um, so anyway, here we go. So this is believed the first year that Hereford Mayfair has ever seen a Super Bowl. And this year the fair was lucky enough to have two. So here we have uh, Charles Deakin's machine, uh, built by Keith Emmett, which is situated on the same position his Dodgems has been on in uh, previous past years. And the second Super Bowl was this one, which is Craig Dancers, built by ARM UK Limited. Now this one is on the position that was occupied by Stuart Dancers Six Arm Extreme, uh, that attended the last two years that Hereford Mayfair took place. Although there is one ride that definitely made its first ever appearance at Hereford Mayfair, and that is this, which is the new Dodgem set for James Dancer. Now, James has previously attended past years with uh, a Revachon track, which consisted of Revachon cars. However, this is a brand new set, which was only built last year, and the track was built by Harry Steer, but the Dodgems were built by Italian company Bertison. And another ride that, as far as we are aware, is making its first ever appearance at Hereford Mayfair is this. Now, this is the Forearm Extreme, which was previously owned by William Dancer and was brand new to him since uh, July of 2010. However, in September of 2021, it changed hands and now Brother James owns it. And it was occupying the position his KMG Freakout has been uh, in the last uh, past years or so. And if anyone can confirm if this is the first ever Forearm Extreme to attend Hereford Mayfair, uh, please do so in the comments because we're unsure in that field. Another new ride for Hereford Mayfair was this. Now this is the simulator of Joseph Smith, which was on a Commercial Street. Now there is another simulator which is owned by Aby Morris and has attended Hereford Mayfair in the last years. But this could potentially be the first time where two simulators have been back to back on the same place. Also new for Hereford Mayfair this year was this. Now this is the Runaway Train Family Coaster owned by Edward Dobson and this was placed on Broad Street same street that saw the Big Will and the two Miamis back to back and it was proving to be a hit with both the kids and the parents as well so that was really good to see. Now moving on to a couple of returning rides so returning to Hereford Mayfair for the first time since 2011 was this Tagada. Now this particular machine has previously attended Hereford Mayfair in past years with its previous owner uh, Joey Whiteleg However, this is the very first time this ride has appeared at Hereford Mayfair with its new owner, Billy Farrell, who purchased the ride from Joey in February earlier this year. And the ride is also occupying the same position that saw uh, William Roberts' Tagada, also, which was also built by Italian company STC, uh, at the last Hereford Mayfair that took place. Another ride returning to Hereford Mayfair after quite some time was this. Now, this is Denzel Dancer's KMG Speed. Uh, which last time was on the same street that uh, another speed called Oxygen uh, attended Hereford Mayfair the past few years. 
However, this is occupying the position that previously saw the likes of uh, Wilson Storm and is on the position that was previously occupied last year by William Roberts' Megaspin. And that just about covers it, so uh, back to Hereford, I guess. So that's it for the uh, Hereford Mayfair 2022 special of this month in UK fun fairs. I'm not really going to say much to wrap this off because my phone literally just about to die. So goodbye for now. Uh, tomorrow we'll see the start of the videos from this fair. And then will be the April 2022 episode of this month in UK fun fair. So until then, goodbye for now and see you later.